Hey guys, it's Brad from churchwp.net, a church WordPress website with theme reviews, plugin recommendations, hosting, and much, much more. In today's tutorial, we are going to teach you how to create a full width slider for the Genesis Metro theme. I really love the Genesis Metro theme. I use it on the blog for churchwp.net, but I have also used it for a variety of different websites that I've created. I love it because the background image gives you such flexibility. Depending on what image you use can give you a different feel for that site. My tech blog has a bunch of code in the back. This church's website has some sites from the town that it's in, and it gives it a different vibe. So the Genesis Metro theme, however, doesn't have the full width slider, which is really important for churches to get the information that they need out there. Same if you're a small business or a nonprofit as well. But don't worry, in today's tutorial, in less than 10 minutes, you will learn how to create this. And it's really simple. It's installing a couple of plugins, cutting and pasting some code, and installing uh, a, a widget area just like you would in any other widget. So the first thing that I want to make you aware of is that we will be following the tutorial that's found at Church WordPress at churchwp.net. And as you can see here, it's called How to Add a Full Width Slider to Genesis Metro Theme. We'll add a link to it in the video as well. And it has step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow along with the video. And it also has some of the code and specific kind of IDs that you're going to have to know for this. So make sure you open up that page as well. So the first thing that I'm going to show you here is this is a new site that I'm creating with the Genesis Metro theme. You'll notice it has the, the different widget areas that are already there. I want the three kind of parallel uh, text areas. So I'm using the middle left widget, the middle right widget, and the primary sideboard to give you that kind of a feel. So we're going to teach you how to create this slider that you saw in the existing site. In order to do that, I need you to click on the dashboard. I'm going to assume that you know how to log into WordPress and that you've at least become somewhat familiar with with it. Now, the next, first thing that you need to do is to install some plugins, and there's going to be two plugins in particular that you're going to have to add. So click on the Add New button. The first one is the Genesis Simple Hook plugin. So search for that, and you'll see that this one should pop up. It's the Genesis Sim Simple Hooks. You can see it's by created by Nathan Rice. It's actually created by um, the Genesis folks themselves, so you know it's a pretty good plugin, and it has uh, some of the same kind of characteristics fast loading, um, robust, everything you need to know. So, click here and click on the install now. You'll notice I already have it installed, but hit on the steps that you'd have to install now. Yes, you want to do that, etc., and make that happen. The other theme that, uh, plugin that you need to plug in or to install is the Genesis Simple Sidebar. And again, this is another theme or plugin that's created by Nathan Rice of the Genesis framework. And so click on it, install it, and make it happen. So once those things are installed, the next thing that you need to do is to go to the simple sidebar areas and create a home slider widget area. Since this isn't part of it, there's the home top, you know, the home left, middle, all that, your footer stuff. You're going to actually create the home a widget area using this simple sidebars and it's really easy. Click here on the Genesis uh, area of the left column of your dashboard. Click on the simple sidebar area right there and you'll notice that in this area right here is where you can add the information that you want. Now we're going to create the home slider sidebar is what you want. So go in here and type the name home slider. You'll see that I've already typed it in. And for the ID, if you want to cut and paste the text and the code that I'm going to impart do for the next part, you'll want to use the home dash slider as you see here. I personally like to add a little description. That way when I look at the list, I know what it is. And so click, we'll just type in, this is a home page full with slider. So if you do that, right, that, click here and do the add new sidebar. I won't because I've already added it. Uh, but once it's added, you'll notice that it appears here now. And you'll have a, a little yellow bar up there that will say, hey, congratulations, you've installed it. The next step is to come over here to the Genesis Simple Hooks. Again, it's on the left side of your dashboard. Click on the Simple Hooks option in Genesis, and we're going to add some code in there. Right now, the 
widget, that area that you have, it doesn't have anything in it. We'll do that next. But it also hasn't been told that it needs to appear on a certain part of the state, the page. So what we're doing with this hook is adding some if statements to tell it that if uh, the when the home page opens up, we want to add the home slider widget area. And the way that you do it is to scroll all the way down to content hooks. And you're looking in particular for this Genesis before content sidebar wrap. Click on it and then go to uh, the tutorial that we have. If you scroll down here uh, to step number uh, three, actually it's step number four, you'll find the code right here. Just take that, control C, paste it in here, and then make sure that you click on the checkbox to execute PHP because that's what it requires. And then uh, make sure that you come down here and click on the blue save changes. So cut and paste the code in the in the content hooks, hit the execute PHP and click save changes. Once that's done, you've now not only created the home slider widget area, but you've told it to appear in the home page. The only thing that we have left to do is to add content to it. So it should now appear in your widget area, just like any other widget that you have that comes with the, the different uh, themes or native to, to WordPress. And so you'll see it's at the bottom here, home slider. And what you'll want to do is drag whatever uh plugins and widgets that you would like to put in there. Personally, I'm going to use the Genesis responsive slider for this purpose. Um, it's one of the best responsive sliders. I personally have started to use Soliloquy Lite or the paid version. If you want to uh, read more about it, you can go to the churchwp.net. But I like Soliloquy because it's a little bit easier to change the numbers uh, and change the order of the slides around. And it's a little bit user friendly for some of my clients. So I'll just add a title here and say, welcome uh, to our church website. And this will automatically pull up the responsive slider in that home area. So here you go. Hit save. And you'll notice if we come over here that now you have created the full width slider. 